Welcome. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the fantastic app Storehouse Visual Storytelling, which is here on the App Store. It's a free application to download. As you can see, I've already downloaded it myself, so I'm just going to click Open. And this is what the app looks like. What you can do with this application is create very uh, multimedia rich, very aesthetically pleasing storybooks that you can then publish for free and access online. So I'm just going to show you very quickly how to um, create your own storybook. So to start with, the very first thing you need to do is click on this little button up here at the top. Um, and it first of all asks you to um, add the media that you want to be using, so the images. And as you can see, you can add those from your photo library. You can link a Dropbox account that you might have, an Instagram account or a Flickr account. Now I'm going to go and um, get some images from my photo library. But before I do that, you might want to go online and actually get the images that you want to use for your storybook. So I'm going to create a storybook about cyberbullying. So I'm just going to go online and do a Google image search for um, computers, just to get some pictures that um, might be effective for this publication. I just want to find some images of um, maybe people using computers and feeling lonely. So I'm just going to sort through these. There might not be any appropriate ones with that, so I'm just going to click on maybe take the S out of here, computer lonely, see what effect that has, do an image search. Okay, so I've got a couple there that I like. I actually like this first one here, and I like this second one. So I'm just going to click on the first one, view the image full size, and then I can just keep hold of the picture. I'm just clicking on the picture there, and I'm going to save the image, and I'll save it to my photo library. So now I'm going to go back to the application, Storehouse, by double-clicking on the menu button here. And I'm going to now click on iPad Photo Library. And as you can see, the image that I've just added is, has come through here. These are just, um, I took many screenshots here of the application, so don't worry about those. Um, I've got several images at the top here that I want to import. So the thing it's going to ask me to do is I can select all the images that are in my photo library, but I have quite a lot so I won't do that, <clears throat> or um, I can just click on the ones that I want. So I've got one up here that I want to use, I'm going to use this one, uh, in fact I'll use most of these um, here. So all of these that I've selected at the minute are images, but you can see here that I've also got a video that I want to use, so you can import videos into your storybooks as well. So I'm going to do that, I'm going to import the video as well. I'm just going to click on import at the top here. So it might take a while depending on what sort of uh, media you're adding. So the reason this, this one's storing just now is because it's actually importing the video, which just takes, um, doesn't take very long, less than a minute, to import all of the content that I want to add. Uh, you can add up to 50 images into your story storybook. Um, okay, so it's now started to create my storybook for me, and it wants to use that as my... Um, cover picture. I don't actually want to do that. I'm going to change this cover picture. I change, and I'm going to choose this image up here. Um, let me put that one again. So I'm going to use that as my cover picture. I don't really want this here on the cover, so I'm going to click on Edit and Crop. So I've just clicked on the Edit and Crop button, and I can then move this picture around uh, like that. And when I'm happy with it, I just press Done. So again, if you want to edit the crop, just click on the Edit the Crop button here. Uh, I can then add my title. So I'm just going to type in Cyberbullying, like that. Click on this button down here to drop the keyboard. And then subtitle, um, and it could, it, um, put, it can happen to anyone. That could be my subheading. Okay, so then as you can see, it started to populate my storybook already. So it's got the author here, Mark Wood. Um, it's already put the images in that I've selected from my library. If I don't want any of these images, so for example, this one, I don't want this anymore because I've used it as my cover picture. So I could just keep hold of the picture. So I'm just keeping hold of the picture. Uh, I can crop it if I want, or I could just remove it by pressing the trash can. Um, now then, what I want to do now is I want to, ha to um, add some text above these pictures. So I'm just going to click on the text button here. 
and I can add normal text, a header, or a quote. So that makes quite sense actually. So header would be, if I just click header, would be a, a big font. So I'm just going to put what is cyber bullying. Mind that. And then underneath here, I might click on the text again and just add some normal text underneath it. Um, I've actually got a definition in my web browser here. So I can just copy and paste this. Go back into my application. Um, I'll actually put this in quotes. Paste. Paste quotes. And obviously, just change this into a capital letter here. There we go. Now, for the pictures, I'm actually going to use, um, I'm going to play around with these. So, for example, I want this picture of the boy. So, I'm keeping hold of this picture of the boy, and I'm just going to drag him into the middle here. I'm going to drag this picture down, and I'm going to drag this picture down, and then I'm going to drag this picture into the middle. So, it's a, a very simple uh, drag and drop to, to move your pictures around. Um, so, that that's what is cyberbullying. I'm then going to add a bit about some more text, I'm going to add some more normal text, and this I can also move, uh, so if I just put, for example, mobile phones, um, desktop computers, um, what else can it happen on it, what else do I have on games consoles, uh, laptops, etc, etc, full stop. Now, I can also move the text, so I'm just going to click and hold on to the text here, and drag that down underneath pictures, like so. If I want to change the style of that, I can just click on the A and I can say, well, I want to change it from normal to header or a quote. If I keep hold of it again, I might want to trash it. I might want to change the alignment, for example, center align. Uh, I'm just going to actually keep that left aligned. And if I want to edit it, I can just click on pencil to edit it again. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some more text and add another header and put uh, where does it happen? Yeah, then what I'm going to do is you can see that it's actually imported my video here as well. And if I turn this up, also happens in the workplace. This is Tom. He's just received a message from a colleague saying that he's not liked and that nobody wants to be his friend. Tom reads the message. So you can see this is a video that I've recorded. Upset. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually click move this up. I'm going to move it above these pictures. So my storybook is now looking like this. Where does it happen? I'll add some more text here. Um, it happens not only at school and home, but also in the workplace. Okay. And I can move that below here. And I can just very nicely create this super storybook, really simple, click and drag, adding my pictures. Um, I can add more pictures if I want, so I just click on media and I can add some more pictures in case I forgot any. Again, and we can link to our Dropbox account, uh, our Flickr account, etc. So that I link to my Dropbox. Um, and then once you're finished, let's imagine that this is finished, all I do is I can save a draft by clicking on here if I want, or I can click publish. So if I click publish, uh, what this will do is it will then upload this storybook to the um, website of the application, which is now done. And then once it's uploaded, if I go over here and click on this button, this is my profile, and you can see that I've actually got two stories that I've uploaded. My name's Mark Wood. I click on settings, I can change all my contact details, etc. I've got two stories. This is the um, you can see that I created the same story twice here. By the way, I did this for a trial. Um, you can see that this one I called the first one. It can happen to anyone, and this is cyber. And it could happen to you. So if I just click on this one, which is the one I um, created just before um, doing the example I showed you earlier, and now you can see that I can view my story within the application. People can comment on it. They can like it. Um, they can retweet it or send an email link to a friend or they can uh, send a link on Facebook to it. So this is now within the application. I can look at my storybook 
read my storybook and as can others as well because if I close this I click on the cross people can then explore the storyteller application sorry the storehouse application and they could actually find your your uh, your story so people can click on explore and you can go and explore other people's stories as well. There's some fantastic stories that people have created. Here, if you want to explore those. Um, alerts is if someone has liked your book or left you a comment on your book, you will see that in the notifications. You can do a search for specific people. You can search for their storybooks. And then if I just go back into the story that I've just created, which is this very first one here, this is one I've just created in a video. Um, if I then click on this icon at the top right here, so again, I can read this story uh, within the application, or I can click on this button here. I can amend it slightly within the application itself. So if you just watch, I might want to resize the text so it's a bit smaller. Okay, so that's within the application I'm doing that. This won't edit it. I could edit the, the, the story if I want to, uh, and it'll automatically just update the, the, the story if I want to add more. I could recommend this to somebody, I can add my own comments to it, I can open it up in Safari, so if I click on open in Safari, that'll take me to the storehouse website, which is like this, and you can now see the story that I've just done, that I've just published is now live on the internet, um, so I can actually view this, I'm now live on the internet, anyone who goes to the URL for this, which is this URL here, yeah, can actually read my story. And there's the, the multimedia that we've added. If I go back into the application, you can then uh, share it with people as well through Twitter or Facebook. But what I would do is I would use this application with my students and say, right, okay, so we're doing a unit on cyberbullying. And the outcome is that you are going to create me a storybook, uh, a scrapbook, all about what you've learned in this unit of work. And you're going to do it using the Storyteller application. Once you've finished it, I want you to email me or share with me the link to your storybook so I can go and read it, I can go and mark it, etc. So all they would do is they would create the storybook just as I've done, click on this email button down here, and they would send you, the teacher, you would just share with the, the students um, your email address. So click on to, um, and mark.ward at vicollege.org. And then the students would share with you their stories. Um, and it would basically email me their unique URL to their storybook, which I could then go and mark. So again, it's a fantastic free application for you to create either your, your own storybooks to share with your students, or you could use it with your students so that they can create their own storybooks and share them with you.